Hi, welcome back to another video on the E46 uh, 318CI. Thought I'd just do a quick update. Uh, I've ordered the parts for the oil leak. So I've got a uh, vacuum pump seal, which is a genuine BMW one from Cotswold BMW. They sell on eBay. Uh, that's the, the seal. And that was £12.84, including delivery. You can get them for about eight or nine pounds, but uh, I just wanted to get an original one. And then this is the crankcase breather kit, which was £28. This isn't an um, OEM, but we've got the main brank crankcase breather here. the main breather, um, the, the valve, and then we've got a number of pipes that go to and from, so that's for there, there and there, and to so say this was 28 pounds I think, so crankcase breather or, or should I say the, the valve, <clears throat> it's an absolute pain to get to. There's two ways you can do it. You can either move, remove the inlet manifold, which from what I've seen is quite a job. Um, I'll put a link in the description to a really good video from Beamer Zen, who's, uh, who's done quite a lot of work on the N42 engines. The other way is to remove the alternator and the um, oil filter housing but that also looks like a pain so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove both because the oil filter housing is also prone to leaking on the uh, on the seal and seeing as this engine leaks like a sieve anyway I thought I would do the oil filter housing uh, seal, which I think from memory I have just ordered one, but I think it's around £18. Um, and the manifold gaskets as well, the little individual D gaskets. And again, I think that's probably £15 to £20 for those gaskets, and probably well worth doing with the car having done 162,000 miles. The vacuum pump seal, which is the cause of the oil dropping down onto the exhaust, uh, I might as well do that at the same time because you've got to remove all the scuttle panel and stuff, and that's right down the back of the engine, uh, sort of up near the bulkhead. <clears throat> um, yeah, and that's the main cause of, of the oil leak onto the exhaust. So I'm hoping with <clears throat> these two items done, and the um, oil filter housing and the manifold gasket, I mean, all in, we're we looking 28, 40, probably 70, 80 pounds. I should hopefully have an engine that's not leaking. Uh, the other thing I want to do is you'll remember in the last video, there's some scrapes down the driver's side of the car. I think a lot of that will come out with polish. So it's not much fun at the moment. It's been snowing again this morning. I don't really want to be starting to mess with the engine in this weather. So uh, I'm just going to have a quick look and see if we can um, make the door look a bit prettier uh, without those big scrapes down the, the door and the sill. So let's go and have a look. So I'm going to start with this and this. It's, I don't know, it's like it's got paint on it or something. That one's got a dent as well. And then there's also, hard to get it with the light, but this scrape here. So I'm just using a 3M Fast Cut Plus and a cloth. Uh, it's going to need a full detail anyway, so um, it's not really a problem. I may even have to use some wet or dry anyway, so let's see what happens.
strange, it's almost like a brick dust. But I think, I think this might actually need a bit of wet and dry because it's definitely not gone through the paint there, a bit there, but that's definitely something else that's caused that. Let's just have a go on here. A little bit coming off. This one's quite a deep gouge that will probably need a dent removing and then a bit of paint in there. slightly better but this one's a bit uh, confusing because that's definitely on the top uh, see if I can get something to uh, bring that out a bit more I'm just going to start off with some thousand wet and dry and just see yeah, there we go too much because I only want to take off the bit that's actually I can see a little bit of a scratch below but that should be a lot easier to repair Do is I'll go over it with a piece of 2000 after. there. There's a bit of the back here as well. piece of 2000 grit. I'm just gonna obviously this isn't gonna be perfect probably doing a hand polish because you could really do with a machine polisher on there but the main thing is it's got rid of the scratches not the main scratches there Starting to rain. And just try and get a bit of polish on there just to try and get the shine back before it rains too much. I 
obviously this is quite a coarse polish so it is going to need to go over with finer grades but for now I just want it to be a little bit less obvious if I was doing this properly I'd have a clean cloth as well and there we go there we go that's definitely a lot better it still needs some polishing but just about see it there. That one's going to need more work. I might even get someone to come along, take the dent out, and then uh, I'll sort that myself. So typically it started raining, so it ended up being a bit of a rush, but I got done what I wanted to do. Just wanted to see whether that main white scratch would come out, and it mostly does. And I think it'll be it'll be 90% once I've put a little bit of touch-up paint in, rubbed it down again, um, and polished it. So uh, next jobs, get the oil leak sorted, and then off for an MOT. Oh, there was two advisories on the last MOT. One was for uh, one of the number plate lights, I've checked that, that seems to be okay now, so there's obviously been replaced. And the windscreen, but, um, it is going to need a new windscreen at some point. So whether I get that done before or after the MOT, we'll see. But uh, we're getting there. Mm -hmm. 